Hi, this is Brian Hong and welcome to the wonderful world of Power Query. So I'm currently using Excel 2016 and this is called Get and Transform. But in Excel 2010 and 2013, it's actually called Power Query. So I'm not sure why they have different names, but they mean exactly the same thing. So for Power Query, it's all about transforming data. So before we start, I want to show you a very quick demo of how we can use Power Query to trim the data inside this table. This table has a lot of extra spaces on the names and we want to remove them using Power Query. Because you might be wondering, where is our Power Query window? And to be able to show that, we need a data source to be our starting point. So to do that, we need to make sure that we have our Excel table selected. And I'll just select here from Data, From Table, inside the Get and Transform. And it's gonna be showing a separate window wherein Power Query will open. And this is where we can perform our magic in Power Query. So if I just move this away, you can see that you still have your workbook open over here and you have a separate query editor window where you can use the functions of Power Query and you can perform your data cleanup in here. And one of the things, the important things with Power Query is because you might be wondering how come we have two separate windows? This one on this right side on the query editor, we're not touching our original data, which means it's a nice playground for you to do, right? To perform your operations, just play around with it. And you won't even touch the original data in the process. So which means if we trim this one, it won't take effect here. So now a copy of your data is being shown here. So what we can do is let's just right click here, go to transform and let's select trim. And notice here on the right side, we have the applied steps pane. So any steps that you have performed in the query editor window are listed over here, which means it's like a historical view of all of the steps, every single step that you have done in your query. And you can also modify them. So you could see here we have the delete icon and then you could just move them as well all around if you want to change the order of the steps. So which means it's a open book wherein you can make your changes or play around with it. So as I said, it's a playground for you. So just feel free with your imagination on how you want to clean your data. And once we're happy with the data, we'll go to home, close and load. So what will happen here is the clean data that you have done over here will be saved as a separate worksheet inside your original workbook, which means you're not touching your original data, but you have a new worksheet that is just a copy paste of what's the output over here, which is really cool, right? And we have the query editor window. You, there's a lot of stuff in here, but don't worry. In our next video, we'll cover that in detail on what each function will do. So once we're happy with the data, let's go close and load. And now we have a copy of this clean data inside a new worksheet. G'day, it's John Michalus here, the Chief Inspirational Officer and Founder at MyExcelOnline.com. And I hope that you enjoyed this video that we just showed you. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. It just lets us know to create more of the same Excel videos for you so you can get better at Excel. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get new Excel videos each and every week. And finally, we want you to join our flagship online Excel course. It's called the My Excel Online Academy. And you get all of our Excel courses. You get our Excel beginner, intermediate and advanced courses. We go through over 500 Excel videos, which teach you formulas, macros, VBA, pivot tables, Power BI, Power Query, Power Pivot, charts, formatting, access, and much more because we add new videos each and every month. You also can download all our Excel workbooks and keep so you can practice. And you also get a certificate of course completion. Plus, you're going to get six bonuses when you sign up to our academy course. You get our dedicated teacher support. You get access to all our Excel webinars. You get quarterly live Q&As. You can join our private Facebook group. You also join our private Excel forum. And we're also going to mail out to you an exclusive academy welcome pack. So if you want to get better at Excel and stand out from your peers and stand out from the crowd so you can get noticed by top management and receive the promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then 
click below in the description and join the My Excel Academy online course so you can get better at Excel today.